Good morning. God bless everybody. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, it is 727, the 4th. You can see these guys out there this morning coming. I'm sure this is an everyday thing they do, even on a cloudy day when you can't see. They're coming. This is what they do. This is why it's so important that we stay focused and uh, know what's going on around us. Um, spiritual warfare, it's very real. God's, uh, there's a curse on this place and he's bringing it down and he's putting it in the hearts of people to do what they're doing. And if they have the spirit of the world, God's still in control. Don't forget these things, you guys. Um, I've got an appointment this morning. Not looking forward to it, but uh, nonetheless, something I have to go do. I have to go see a dentist, and I don't like going in there anymore. I don't. <clears throat> but anyhow, you got to sit out in your car and wait for your appointment, so I can do that. And uh, we don't know how much more time we have left here, you guys. But I guarantee you this, it's not much longer. Things are going to escalate pretty quickly, you know. And I know when they begin to, when they all look at us with hatred, because we're not doing what they do. They got a different spirit now, you guys. If they don't have the spirit of God, then it's an antichrist spirit. Even if they may appear to be, uh, you know, like Christian, if they're if they if they're not awake and aware, they have a different spirit, you know. That's what's going on. Anyhow, you guys, be bold, be steadfast, be strong, be a light, okay? A lot of these people can't receive what we say. There's a reason for it. I'm not saying they're damned, but they got a different spirit. It's the spirit of the world. And if you love this life, if you love anything in this world, read James 4.4 4 again, okay? 1 John 2.15. You know, it's, it clearly tells you if you love anything in this world, you're the enemy of God. Satan's the prince of this world, man. Satan's the one that's constantly trying to entice people with it. I can't wait to get out of this place. Anyhow, I'm going to keep this short, you guys. Like I said, I got an appointment. I'll load this up. And remember what Daniel did throughout his whole time. He served other kings, but he always glorified the Father, the, our Lord in heaven. He glorified him always in everything that he did. And then, remember when he said he wouldn't eat the food that the king they worshipped to their God? He said he wouldn't defile himself. And then what does the Bible say? He who defiles his temple, God will destroy. So you guys, don't think that it's just a mark, a stamp on the head or the hand. Read it. It's in Daniel's. He wouldn't defile himself. Okay? And then see what it says about he who defiles himself. Him God will destroy. God bless you guys. I love you. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All who repent, you can repent. And call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Believe that he died and raised, took our sins and our iniquity. But you have to stop. And you have to die to this world. You can't continue. I've had people making comments that just didn't make sense saying if they have to do something no it's a choice it's a choice people are making it all the time the problem is by faith they're not trusting in the Lord that's the biggest problem and turning away from these things and then he'll guide your steps God bless you guys I love you Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior